In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform this poster into this one. Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys. Hey, what she girl. gonna do? What, what she gonna, gonna do when we come hey, in? Hey, hey, uh-uh, no, no, uh, no, never. Y'all will never do that again. All right, let me show you first how to remove a white background on images like this. So you want to go to channels here. And if you don't see these, you can check window channels. And after that, you want to find the channel with the highest contrast between the background and the subject. So in this case, it's the blue one. After that, you can drag this layer here. So we duplicate this so we don't mess with the original one. And after that, I'm just going to press Ctrl or Command L. Let me zoom in and like that. So we bring up the levels here. And now you want to make sure we create this silhouette type of thing. And don't go all the way there because you will get this strange border. So a little bit to the right, something like this is fine for this one. After that, just press OK. So now we made this like the silhouette type of thing. After that, you can just go here and select the magic one tool. And now you can just press on this white area and we have a nice selection. So now we can just delete this again. So we have the original one. And after that, just create a mask. Oh, make sure you press right mouse and select inverse and make a mask. Now let's make a new layer behind this so we can see this better. Something grayish. As you can see, there's like this strange white border. So that's really easy to fix. So you want to hold down control or command to make press on this mask so you make the selection after that go to select modify contract and here you can select uh, for instance 10 pixels here sometimes i use one pixel but this is a big image so 10 is okay here i think and press ok as you can see it goes like 10 pixels inside this after that click on the mask again select right mouse and select inverse and now you can just press, make sure this is white to black. If you don't have white to black, press D on your keyboard. And after that, just press command or control backspace. So we get rid of that white line. Damn, you do start fast, don't you? All right, let's create some rimp lights here. So let's start off with creating a new layer. After that, I want to select something from this clothing and like pinkish color, maybe even lighter, almost white. And now you wanna go to your brushes and just use the soft round brush. Make it really small. And don't forget to make a clipping mask so we're only drawing in this selection of it. So now you can go around the border to create like this little thin line around it. Hey! Oh shit! Oh, come on, man! You can get that buffed out. No, you can get that buffed out. All right, so I got this background that I want to use for the background, so I'm just gonna copy that and put it here. And now we can convert to smart object and move it up. Now this horizon is a little bit not right, so I want to make sure it's like precisely so it needs to turn around a little bit like that all right this one double click on this and just sample this color so that's the background and we can blur this out now maybe even bigger Right now we want to go to filter blur and gaussian blur all right this is fine and now we can do some lighting here so i'm going to create a new layer and make some lights from this background so the only thing i have to do here is change the blending mode to screen and i have some lighting there And let's make another layer and 
make something a little bit more orange so we can create some reflections so like this we can even do create clipping mask here with this layer so you only affect them and not the background here so Right, let's get rid of this background color so I'm gonna create hue saturation here and drop the saturation I feel like it's too red orange this looks better and this is maybe a little bit too much I'm gonna drop this let's make them a little bit lighter so I'm gonna create a curve layer on top of them and increase the mid-tones here and highlights like that just a little bit lighter all right now you can either leave it like this or you can do this so i'm gonna create a new layer here and press command alt shift e so it makes a duplicated layer of all the layers and i'm gonna go to filter gallery and here you want to select cut out so now i can create like this cartoon type of thing so you can either do something here with these settings so maybe you want it like that so yeah that is it for this one thanks for watching hope you like my videos don't forget to like if you do and see you in the next one